So here we're looking at an example of patterns and rules using some triangle shapes. What we're going to do is look at the pattern first. So there's a table here for us to fill in. Um, so you could draw the example and, fill, and the table as well. So we can see we've got one triangle, two triangles, three triangles. And then we count the number of matches that make them up. There are three matches that make up the first picture. There are six matches in the second and three, six, nine. So you can probably see the pattern here is that each time we're going up by three. So the next one would be nine plus three is 12 and 12 plus three is 15. So we've actually filled in the table, it's pretty quick. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to try and find a rule. Now the rule has two parts to it, it's basically an in and an out. So you're going to have out equals something going on with the in. And the most common thing that happens with the in is you multiply by something and you either add or you subtract something else. So I'm going to work with adding first, see if that works, and if it doesn't it might be subtracting. So we're going to look at the table here. Now the in is the top and the out is the bottom and that's because you're taking a number and ending up with a bigger number here. So you're probably multiplying this number and maybe adding something. So let's have a look. This part here that says plus three, the amount that you're going up each time is actually the part that is going to be the multiplication part here, multiplying by three. The reason for that is it's like your three times table, right? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. In fact, it is actually your three times table. So that's going to work really nicely. Sometimes you might find this is not, uh, doesn't match your times tables. It might be up a little bit or down a little bit. And that's where you'll have this other part that you'll use. So for now, we'll try this rule. We've got um, out equals in times three. Now instead of talking about in and out, we can actually use the variables that they gave us. The t in place of in and the m in place of out. m equals t times three. Or using your rules, m equals, remember the number at the front, and then you don't need to write the multiplication sign, so it's just three t m equals 3 times t or m equals 3t. So we're going to try this rule because it might actually not work and we need an extra bit in here so we're going to try it first. So let's have a look, let's try an example, let's try the in number as 5. So the out number would be the in number times 3. So the in number times 3. It's 15. So that totally works. So this rule works. This is correct. So we've written the rule in algebra. The other way we could write the rule is in words. So we could say the number of matches equals the number of triangles multiplied by 3. So the number of triangles multiplied by 3 gives you the number of matches. And that makes sense because each triangle has three little matches in it. Now the last part of this question is part C. We've done part B. Part C says use your rule to find the number of matches. So that means we need to find the number of matches if you have 100 triangles. So remember that our rule was um, t, oh, whoops, 3 times t or 3t. Now in this case, we actually have t equals 100, so it's a substitution problem. So we have m equals 3 times t, but remember we don't write t, we actually write in the value for t, which is 100. 3 times 100 is 300, so we would have 300 matches to make 100 triangles. So that's how we work through oops, using a rule, creating a rule from a table, and then using substitution in our rule to figure out the answer to a problem.